Welcome back to Serial Tech series on SAS and SATA protocol basics, including the Serial Tech bus expert. In the last section, we covered SSP speed or sorry SAS speed negotiation and the SMP discovery process. In this section, we'll go over SSP frames and the conclusion. My name is Matthew Hallberg. I'm the product manager at Serial Tech, and I can be reached at matt at serialtech.com. So there are different types of SSP frames similar to serial ATA. There's a command frame which is used by the initiator for sending SCSI commands like a read 10, etc. There's an extra ready or known as transfer ready which is used by the target to indicate it is ready to receive data payloads from the initiator. So in the instance of a write command uh, it would send a transfer ready. There are data frames which are used for sending data payloads which can be used by both the initiator and target. There are response frames which are used by the device to give the initiator a detailed report on whether or not the command completed, completed successfully. And there are task frames which are used by the initiator to abort commands, clear out commands, reset the unit, and ask for a return status of a command. So about the response frame, that's similar to what you would see with a serial ATA uh, register device to host or set device bits. Whereas the difference is in, instead of there being there needing to be a, a log, a read log command issued, this response frame, if if there is an error during transfer, is going to provide a lot of information about why the transfer failed. Okay. So this is a response frame. It's one of the more important frames that are sent during a transaction, and it contains vital information on why a transaction failed, which is useful to the software and transport layers when reporting and handling the error. So you'll see here's the frame type, here's what the SAS address of the destination is, here's the source, here's what the tag value was, the target port transfer tag, uh, if there was any data present, what the status was, so if it was the status of a check condition, there might be sense data or other kinds of data that are available. And um, if there was, again, a check condition with data present, you would see what the data lengths are here. So when sending a command, each frame above starts with an open. So an open goes out, a couple are readies, and then closed. Note that in a wide port environment, the frames corresponding to the command can come in on any of the ports at any time. So above you'll see the transaction view in the bus expert software. This makes this view very useful when you're tracking commands across multiple ports or even in a very busy environment when the device sends data at irregular times. So you'll see here uh, the write command comes out on I1, the transfer ready comes out on T1, You'll notice that the starting time between the original command and the, f and the transfer ready is quite a bit. So, whereas normally you might look at a spreadsheet style of view, you would need to scroll from this timestamp down to this timestamp and kind of mentally filter out all the traffic that occurred between then. Okay. So, when sending a frame, the host is going to send out an open address frame indicating it wants to send a frame. The device will then send an open accept and then issue a couple credits and then the host is going to issue a couple credits. Then the command comes out. It's a write 10 which the device will then ACK and send an already saying okay I've gotten that here's another credit. The host will then send a done meaning I'm pretty much done what I'm doing here and I'm going to be closing the, the connection soon, the device will then send a done normal and then say okay here's a close normal I'm going to close the connection and then the host will respond with a close to finish closing the connection. So essentially that's that's how these things look. So um, that is the conclusion of our basic training of SAS and SATA uh, but is it really the end? We do have some topics that we want to cover in the future so for serial ATA, maybe we'll cover some ATAPI, error handling, timeouts, and a roadmap of serial ATA. For SAS, uh, error handling, SMP commands, some of the SCSI command sets, timeouts, uh, multiplexing, which 
really never really cut the cheese in the SAS market and then SAS 12 gig and here's some glossary uh, and references which is a work in progress so I just wanted to take this time to thank you uh, thank you for your time and consideration and efforts and I hope that you found the training slides very useful and if you ever have any questions in the future please contact me or your serial tech representative uh, I can be reached at matt at serialtech.com or if you want to reach serial tech sales at serialtech.com will work as well thanks again and have a great day